here we have the vegetative stage and uh, basically in the vegetative stage uh, this is a time when the plant is uh, the, the spinach crop is putting a lot of foliage because this is the foliage that uh, it is building up the energy build, building up the food reserve uh, because uh, what is harvested are the leaves and therefore it builds up the food reserve to be able to uh, uh, to be used as uh, you know uh, for harvesting the foliage later on and uh, we have the stem uh, that is uh, where the food storage is uh, is uh, the, the food storage is and uh, at that stem this is uh, where once the leaves are produce the food they are taken to the stem and that stem keeps the food and then it keeps the plant growing uh, and uh, there is a uh, I, in this stage, have, uh, weeding is supposed to be done because weeds usually uh, uh, compete with the spinach for food and water and also for space. And therefore, weeds should be, should be eliminated. We just use a, a farm implement, a panga. We use it to do the weeding. And from there, we have uh, the other aspects that are important. And one is the nutrition. Nutrition is important. And uh, at this stage, uh, top dressing should be done and that is top dressing using uh, uh, calcium ammonium nitrate on a nitrogenous fertilizer and uh, the type of fertilizer the type of the nitrogenous fertilizer and also the amount to use per acre or per plant uh, should be done through the advice of the soil analysis that was done that is done uh, because that is what is uh, will determine what to apply per acre of land or spinach and after that we have now the secondary supplementation using the foliar fertilizers and that is done uh, the foliar fertilizers that is done using the uh, what we call high end or the vegetative foliar fertilizers the vegetative foliar fertilizers as they are called when you visit the agro shops uh, they contain high nitrogen and this high nitrogen is the one that uh, the plant absorbs through the leaves and once they absorb through the leaves, they use this uh, nitrogen uh, to manufacture food and to increase in terms of the foliage. And uh, the spinach crop should be green because once they have the green, the, the green color, that is the chlorophyll, they are able to use that to trap sunlight. And once they use that to trap sunlight, they are able to, uh, to drive. And uh, at this stage, also, you need to control the insects. You need to control the insects. And uh, there are uh, two major insects that usually affect the spinach. And one is the leaf miner. And then from the leaf miner, we have the bollworms at this stage of vegetative stage. And uh, when you look at this leaf, you find it has holes. And these holes uh, uh, shows there is an insect that has already been feeding on it and those, those are what we call it the bollworms uh, most of the time you may not find them because they usually hide they hide either in the soil or they hide uh, at the lower levels and uh, they usually come out mainly at night on early morning and then they feed on the leaves and they draw the holes um, and most of the time during the day you are not able to find them because they can't come out because of the birds the birds are going to feed on them so they usually hide then the early evening or I mean late evening or early morning when the birds are not active. That's when they come out and they start feeding on the crop. And uh, those are the bollworms. And then we have uh, what we call uh, the leaf miners. Uh, you can be able to see very tiny dots, whitish dots. Uh, those are the, uh, the eggs of the leaf miners. So the adult leaf miner usually lay eggs in form of uh, those tiny dots and then from there the eggs are going to hatch and once the eggs hatch uh, they hatch into uh, into lava and then the lava stage is going to draw lines as it feeds through the leaves so those two uh, insects are uh, what are, what is what is important and uh, once we have such scenario uh, especially the bollworm we have a product called uh, active ingredient lambda cyhalothrin and we have another one called delta uh, delta methrin. We also have alpha cypermethrin. Those are some of the active ingredients that you can be able to use to control 
uh, this insect bollworm. And for the case of uh, the, the leaf miners, we have uh, a product called uh, abamectin. Abamectin is very good because abamectin has what we call translamina effect. Uh, translamina, uh, translamina effect is uh, where you spray from the top level to the bottom level. It is able to control from top level to the bottom level. It's able to control uh, to take the, 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 the chemical down. The other active ingredient that you can be able to use uh, when the leaf miner have attacked, we have a chemical, an active ingredient we call emamectin benzoate. Emamectin benzoate can also be used to control uh, that insect. And once you have uh, that control, then you are able to have a, a good uh, leaf of spinach that is able to produce and also be marketable later on. And uh, from this stage, uh, the other aspect that is very important is uh, the aspect of diseases. And uh, diseases here, uh, as I mentioned during the starting stage, we still have a disease we call um, the leaf spot. And uh, apart from the leaf spot, we also have a disease we call blight, just a normal blight. And also we have a disease we call dano mildew. So such diseases, um, as you can be able to see here, they have been con controlled very well. Uh, but in later stages, they usually come, especially in the harvesting stage, they usually come. We are going to see uh, them, them there. But at this stage, uh, still you need some form of control when you see the diseases have started uh, coming in. And especially when we have, uh, during the time when it is raining, it is very important to control them. And uh, to control them, uh, especially the leaf spot, we have uh, an active ingredient we call the Fanet methyl. Uh, which you can be able to use to control them. And also we have diphenoconazole. And uh, in case maybe it is raining and we have the, the, the blight, uh, the blight usually uh, 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 manifests itself by drying up of the margins of the leaf. Uh, in that case, you can be able to use uh, a product with active ingredient cymoxanil. And by doing that, you are going to control it very well. But of course, uh, we usually encourage scouting. We don't encourage routine spray, but we encourage scouting. You scout, if you see the insects, then you're able to, to do the spray. And the spraying, you usually have a, a spray regime where you have 7 to 14 days spray period, depending on uh, how uh, the weather is. Because if, if maybe the weather is harsh, you need to control uh, the disease aspects. And in case maybe after seven days you are seeing we have uh, insects that are attacking the crop, you can do seven to 14 days, depending on how you are, you are seeing the level of attack. And therefore you are able to, to use that. And uh, when you are doing the regime, you can be able to mix an insecticide. Um, you are able to mix a, pe uh, a fungicide and also you can mix a foliar feed. And a foliar feed at this stage is just a vegetative a foliar feed with uh, high nitrogen for, uh, for growth, for, for foliage growth, and also for leaves to be more green to be able to produce food. Mm -hmm.